Schwinstein, Bruja, De Las More. White rays pierce through sheer hues of lavender. Moonlight vanishes into the murky fog of night. Just as the moon presides over black tides, as above, so below, there was a witch among the Moorish land. At the epicenter of the marsh, she resided. Within a beautiful home shrouded by weeping willows, she schemed. Furled under her arm was an ancient tomb. Though the other hand brewed the potion of attraction, unbeknownst to the villagers, a stench would permeate their abodes. This stench was malodorous to some. Its repugnant odor caused a nauseating sickness. Others that could be quelled by the satisfaction of justice smelled an intoxicating aroma. Beguiled by the ethereal aroma, they flocked to the marsh. In troves, they arrived, entranced, though not ensnared. What trap is better than force? Deceit from the shadows behind a veil. In her anonymity, she charmed a few charismatic beings. The contagious and compelling aura swept through the supporters. Propaganda ensued as they remained insular. A loud, faceless cackle was heard. Thus, the seal of iniquity was opened. Glass became enemies of men and women alike, for she bewitched the mirror world. Scattered throughout the universe were obscure messages, archaic music accompanied by sordid phrases. Through all the madness were written and insipid letters was an obsession an unquenchable thirst for the blood of a wizard. Make no mistake, as he too used similar magic, though in between, souls hung in the balance. Both sides were enamored with the zeal for unfathomable power. Both amassed preachers to disguise their message as holy. All of it was wrought in depravity, some say, if we remain quiet at night, we can hear the story still unfolding. Take heed, the sons and daughters of Jacob. There's more to beware than the sons and daughters of Esau.